I have more wigs. Honestly, ever since I well, ever since I did the first testing like cheat wigs from Amazon video on my channel, this video part two, it's been long awaited. So I'm gonna put these down because my arms are dying. I've just realized I still got my glasses on, so that's gonna be really annoying. Sorry about that. I don't know where to put them. That's just uh, in the last wig video, which I will leave linked in the eye. I chose like a good little mix of lace front wigs, but a lot of them were more kind of like your wearable colors, wearable. Ugh. I thought they would be cool this time round to actually get like more color. We still got like some brunettes and blondes, but I just wanted to spice things up a little bit, you know? They're all lace fronts again, because lace front actually look like the most realistic. Because funnily enough, I didn't quite want this to be a shit show. <laughs> you know, I didn't spend all this money for it, so it's like go down the drain, do you know what I mean? I think there's about nine to 10 wigs here, but they're all pretty affordable for a lace front wig. So, ladies and gents, if you want to see what Amazon is like in the lace front wig department, then keep watching. So, the first wig that I have to share with you guys today is by, I don't know how to say this brand, Exiwea? Wow. Wow, Jordan. Wow. I mean, 10 out of 10 for, for effort. This wig is kind of like a pink faded moment. It's more of like a short bob. It's got dark roots. It says on the website that it is actually heat resistant, 14 inches long, and it is lace front. In the last wig video, the pink long wig that was in there was actually my favorite. It was so good. I was like, this is from Amazon. Wow. Ooh, there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> oh yes, we got a wig yep. I'm about to look like an alien again. Oh, it actually looks kind of cute, you know. Oh, feels really nice. It's like hella soft. Do you know, I'm actually really looking forward to looking like a living condom again, quite honestly. <laughs> just, just always been my dream. <laughs> John, you're actually not funny, so like... I can't get this on my head. I feel like I'm like coming out the womb again, like. <laughs> Whose head is actually that small? Whew. Right, let's line her up. Hmm. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I don't love middle partings, especially when it comes to wigs, because I feel like they look very like wiggy on me. But I'm kind of feeling the whole like middle part with this one. Maybe because it's all like one length and it's shorter. So it's not just like hanging, do you know what I mean? Like hanging Hagrid, like. I mean, you could probably flip her a little. I can't stop like feeling it because it feels so soft. I mean, it does feel a little bit synthetic-y, like it's not the most realist feeling wig, but she's cute. I feel like this is a keeper for me. I'm gonna go cut off the lace so we can actually see it properly rather than having like this like bald cap thing here. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay guys. I love it. Like look at the hairline again. Obviously I've not glued it down, I've not cut the lace or anything properly like wig experts don't come for me <laughs> if this was you know like glued down and properly sorted and styled and everything these pink wigs from amazon like they can do a pink wig i'm not gonna lie at first i really wasn't sure if i was gonna love the dark roots like i don't know whether it was gonna like kill the wig or not but it's kind of a vibe like i got a bit of rootage going on a bit of growth <laughs> we love it guys wig number one is a complete success i'm living breathing and dying for this one Let's move on to the next. Oh my god, the color. That is beautiful. As soon as I saw this color in a wig, it, it went straight in my basket. This is by Shantish Wigs. This is their Ash Purple Lace Front Wig. It's 22 inches long. You can use a little bit of heat on it as well. Um, and it's more of like a straight kind of wig. Like, I just need to get this on my head now, you know? Like, this kind of like, am I? I Am I okay? No, yeah, maybe, I think so. Oh, and by the way, it's not straight. It's like a wave, but I actually prefer that. Feels really nice, that color. Honestly, like this kind of ash purple has always been a color that I've wanted to like have my hair, but I don't have the lady balls for that. So we just use wigs instead. Whoa, snatched. Please look good, please look good, please look good. Right. <laughs> okay, this doesn't have a parting or anything, so I feel like it's gonna look better. It's like a swooped over side. <laughs> Hair on my lip gloss. Uh, oh. My. Oh my god. <laughs> Who is she? I think I 
actually really like it. I kept looking at it thinking like, does this look like cool? Or does it look kind of like Cosme, Cosme? Cosplay. <laughs> Get it together. I mean, it legit looks real coming out of my head again. I feel like it looks way more purple on camera than it does in real life. It is more of like an ash, dark, dusty kind of purple. I think I need a hairbrush. Let me just, let me, let's, let's TLC her a little bit. Wow, I feel like she needed that. She was going a little crazy. I mean, when they say she's 22 inches, like, it, she, look how long. I feel like this is like too long. I feel like she needs a little snip. Like, look at that. It comes down to the booty. The booty. Ooh. The little tabs are thick. <laughs> I'ma just go snip off the lace and then we can see her in all her glory. You feel me? Okay, this wig, this wig has got me shook, okay? Not only, okay, is this lace front doing me proud if it was like actually glued down because like, haven't done that. So not only does she look like she's growing from my scalp, but the quality of this wig, like look how much hair there is. Like look how thick. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's just so much hair. <sighs> this was what, like 33 pounds or something? And it's from Amazon, like from Amazon. Like not even a proper wig place, just Amazon. Yes, I love it. Oh, the titties are trying to pop out. Let's just get back in. Totally, like 110% would recommend this. If you're looking for a purple wig, hit up Amazon, because it's fire. <laughs> Next wig right here. So I have always loved like, ginger hair like coppery oh i think it is beautiful and i don't know why like ginger hair used to get like low-key hated on like shut the f up do you know what i mean like what? okay sis uh i'm gonna need you to calm down a little bit i genuinely don't know why i came across so angry then because i was actually chill <laughs> so i love that wow Anyway, let's just keep rolling. I honestly think it is so pretty. So I thought I would pick one up. So this is by a brand called Bee Stung. This is a copper red, long kind of wavy wig. It's 20 inches long. So a little bit shorter than the last one. Again, lace front. The picture looks amazing. Like there looks like there is so like much hair to this wig. So I'm super excited to put this on my scalp. Ooh. Oh. That is beautiful. It's pretty curly. You can definitely tell it's shorter. And again, feels really good. Ow, I tried to snatch the wig, like, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, okay. Yep. Where'd the wig cap go? Wow, my makeup on my forehead is really taking an L, like, it's just gone. <laughs> oh my god, honestly, like, I turn into a new person every single wig. <laughs> I don't know why, but this one feels a lot more comfortable around my head. Like, it's lighter, so it doesn't feel as, like, heavy. It's like a mane. Again, I am not disappointed in the quality of this wig. Like, the amount of hair that you get is so crazy. I love the length of this one. It's like the perfect sort of long length. I mean, for me personally, anyway, I think I'm just used to having like shorter hair though. So when it's too long, I'm like, wow, like where did all this hair come from? The color of this is gorge. Gorge. I mean, I'm not gonna trip. It is a little bit too shiny. I think especially like on this top half here But little trick if you put baby powder or like dry shampoo or something in it, it like mattifies it. So it looks more real Coming at you with the tips <laughs> and then this is what it looks like at the root I think this is a little bit too thick This might need to do a little bit of plucking because it looks a little too like straight. That's dead simple to do Let's Get the scissors and cut the lace off. Ta-da! Another wig that I'm literally living for. I genuinely would put this on and wear this out of the house and rock the copper life. I'm obsessed. I think it's so pretty. The actual wig is so, so nice. With a little bit of plucking of the hairline, sort out probably, she's gonna look a 10 out of 10. What do you guys think of this one? Let me know down below. Right, which wig are next? I don't know, there's too many. You know what, let's do this one. Let's take it back to like my blondness. As much as I love, you know, experimenting with all these different fab colors. <laughs> I feel like I'm a blondie at heart. Well, I'm actually technically a brunette at heart, but I feel like I'm a bleach my hair blonde at heart. <laughs> now let's hope, okay, that this is not another Draco Malfoy's dad moment like last time. Whoa. <laughs> Why do I look like Draco Malfoy's dad? It was just Malfoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, this little guy, okay, this is a platinum blonde 
moment like no roots no nothing it's by a brand called bluebird it is a lace front of course and it has a little bit of like heat resistance to it it's a straight wig i don't actually know how long it is i can't see uh but it's pretty long i think yeah let's just open her up get her out jeez <laughs> this is like white blonde whoa look how long it is like that is so freaking long right are we ready that is like blonde. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, I'm going to brush this because, um, okay, 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 okay. I think we're good. Right, the part is nice. Like, it's nice and thick. I obviously would have to wear a nude wig cap, not a black one. Otherwise, you can literally see the color through. The roots look nice. Like, everything looks cool. But this middle part right now. Today I am serving Lucius Malfoy vibes. Is that his name? Lucius. Lucius. So I think this has to be like a side swoosh. Yeah, I think that looks so much better. I'm not even gonna lie. There is so much hair with this wig and it is so long. Like look, like this one touches my bum basically. This wig 100% needs to be like trimmed. There's a little bit of shape to it. Like a little bit of layeredness. So much hair. Like, look, look at her. What? But the tea is hot. How do I feel about her? How do I feel about you? I mean, I feel like the wig is really, really cute. I just don't know if I can pull off this much of like lighter hair without any roots whatsoever like i feel like i've just come out the hairdresser and got my hair done i feel like i've gone from like brunette to blonde and having that stage of like whoa like that's light <laughs> do you know what i mean what do you guys think does this suit me i honestly don't know like i can't i can't figure her out i'll cut this off and then you guys need to let me know if this suits me because i'm just like i don't know right now i don't know i don't know, I don't know. is this wig a vibe i'm still like Kinda not sure. The actual wig is fab. Like, everything about it is amazing. Now that I've taken off the lace, like, you could easily pluck this hairline because it's got a really nice, like, wispy hairline. But the wig on me? Hmm. It's weird. It's like I look at it sometimes and I'm like, yes. And then I look again and I'm like, eh, keep trying. But I mean, if you're looking for a platinum blonde long ass wig, then Amazon has your back. That's all I can say. Right, for this next wig, we're gonna go back to a little bit of color. This wig, okay, like, I nearly dropped it. This is basically a blue and green mixed color wig. So like in different lighting and like whatever. It looks kind of like different tones, which I think is so cool. It's by a brand called Essie Wigs and it's 24 inches. So again, I feel like this might be one I wanna cut because this is like dead straight this wig a little bit heat resistant lace front um i don't know i think it was just the color that drew me into this like the whole like green and blue like two-tone thing i think it's gonna look so cool Ooh, i'm so excited oh it's got like dark roots as well so this is what she looks like oh, holy shit that's so cool right i really hope the camera is gonna pick this up but can you see like the green and the blue in this let's get her on one two three Oh, is this a middle part? I think it's a middle part. I feel like I'm brushing for days, like. <laughs> Do you know what? I feel like this is another wig again that I actually don't mind that much in a middle part. Guys, if you want a long blue wig, like look at this, it is so long. Mm -hmm. Bit too long for me, but nothing a pair of scissors can't fix. One thing though with this wig, I feel like I really want to do something with it, like cutting some shape around the front, curl it even, just to kind of play off the colour a little bit more. Like I know that not everyone is going to want to go out in a blue wig, like totally, but I feel like with this wig, if we give it a little bit of shape and make it look more like real hair, I think this could look so cool. I do feel like that's the thing with only like some of the Amazon wigs, like the quality and everything's amazing, but I feel like to make them look more like real or, you know, like put your own touch on them, you do have to kind of like play around with them. But that's the fun part, right? Like style it how you want, do what you want with it, have a good time. We're cutting off the lace, people. Okay, right, ignore 
the way I've cut this lace. Uh, for some reason, the lace is really dark on this one, so you have to cut it like properly, and I've not done that. It's just like, don't look. <laughs> but I definitely feel like this is another winner wig. For sure, here is like the, ignore the lace like I said, but here's like the actual hairline, if you're interested. Um, yeah, I think it's so cool and it's something different. It's kind of like edgy and a little bit like out there uh, and I really, really like it. So yeah, Amazon, round of applause. The next wig that I have here from Amazon, this actually is kind of like an inspo from the last, wig video. I had this huge pink curly wig and in it I said how I wanted it in like brown, black, like every other kind of colour. <laughs> found one, I don't know if it's like the same brown or anything, but I found one that looks like it would be pretty similar in brown. So basically this wig, this is by a brand called VV Bing. It's 16 inches long so I think it's the same as the last one. This one actually has baby hairs in it as well which I'm really looking forward to. A little bit heat resistant, it's lace front, it looks kind of like big and curly. Uh, I'm excited because if this looks nice, I feel like I might live in this. Ooh, okay. Right off the bat, it doesn't look like the pink one. Like it doesn't look like it has as much hair and as much volume, but I can't knock it until I put it on, I guess. It doesn't look as curly either. Like the top isn't as like curly as the bottom. Whereas with the pink one, it was like huge and curly, like all over. Oh, look at the little baby hairs though. I think I'm just like chilling at the front. <laughs> I'm nervous, I really want this one to be good. Ooh, hi. <laughs> Do you know what I love like straight away about a brown head wig is that I've got brown roots, so blending it in makes my life so much easier. Whoa. Can we all just like take a moment to appreciate how much hair is on this wig? <laughs> what the frick? I really like the fact that it doesn't have a part in because this is the kind of hair that I would just like chuck around like this. I mean, these baby hairs are like doing the most. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, this is definitely gonna need plucking because it kind of just looks like it, like black dots. Like it needs to be like plucked and feathered out. But the actual wig. <laughs> really quickly, I'm gonna go cut off this lace so we can see what's going on here. Here she is guys, I have to say I love it. I literally love it. But with this wig, there is only one thing that is a little bit of a pain with it. I feel like you need to have like dark roots or like naturally dark hair to wear it because the hairline's a little bit weird. It's like they've made black dots for the roots as opposed to it just like coming out like looking natural. But apart from that, I genuinely think this wig is so cool and I'm definitely gonna be wearing this out like for sure when I'm feeling them brunette days. I'm gonna whip this one out. Oh my god, I genuinely forgot I ordered this one. What the hell? I know earlier I had that like coppery, red, gingery colored wig, but this one is like a dark red, long ass wig with dark roots. This one, this is by um, a brand called Charisma. And like I said, it has a black root. It kind of is like an ombre burgundy red color. Super, super long. It's 24 inches. The style in the picture looks amazing. It's got that like really nice wave to it. Oh. Oh no, wait, is this not a lace front? No, it is a lace front. Oh my god, but it doesn't actually say lace front. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Guys, it's not a lace front. I thought this was a lace front wig. I don't know why, because it doesn't even say that it is on the website. I just thought it was, but it's not. I genuinely don't know how real this is gonna look. Oh, that's a shame, because look how amazing this looks. Ugh. Bummers. I need to start reading things and not putting it straight in my basket and thinking it's gonna be a lace front when it's not even in the lace front. Oh, damn it. Right, well, um, I guess here goes nothing. Ooh, wish me luck. We're gonna go in. Just as I thought, look at this. The hairline does not look real whatsoever. Like, look. Look at this dude. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Underneath here, it's been made really weirdly. Like, what is this? Like, the actual hair is amazing. Like this color, this like burgundy, maroony red is beautiful, but I just, why? <laughs> right, there's only one thing for it. I learned this from my last wig video, but guys, when a wig looks bad at the top or it's just not what you thought it was up here, grab a cap or a beanie or some sort of hat and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Oh, what is this? 
just had like a label chilling in my wig. <laughs> do you know what's really nice as well? Like this time of year, it's so freaking cold. So like wearing a beanie, like I would do anyway. So it just, it worked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Let me praise the Lord. Jesus Christ. We did it, we did it. Okay guys, I have three wigs left. And I just like check them because I was just like, hmm, are these all lace front? Because now I'm like paranoid. <laughs> Not that it matters because like we can fix it, but um, <sighs> I've done it again. I've got another wig that has no lace front. <laughs> wow, I am just such a hot mess today. Right, this is the wig here. And I wasn't going to show you, but the actual like texture of the wig feels really hair-like. And the like uh, shape, like the wave and everything in it is amazing. So I feel like I just have to. I need to. I need to. But just in case any of you do like this, this is by a brand called Charisma. It's 24 inches. It's a dark brunette colour and it has some heat resistance to it. Let's do it. Let's switch. Switch the wigs. I can't believe I've done it again. Can't believe I didn't read the thing and ended up with a long lace front wig. No jewels. Oh, jewels. Oh, I feel like a Kardashian. Okay, I'm not actually gonna lie. This one isn't as bad as the last one. It's always just this line here. This like black line bit that they put here. Ta -da! Do you know what? With the beanie on, I genuinely don't think that anyone would question like that this wasn't my hair. And that's maybe because it's brunette. So much hair, she thick. Really nice wave, really nice texture, like it actually has like... I have to say man, I'm gonna wear this out, like with a beanie for sure, because then you don't have to worry about it. Okay Amazon, providing the goods. Right, we are on to the very last wig, and this one, well guys, if you watched my last wig video, I tried to do like a silvery grey wig, and I... Mm. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go again, a different style this time. So this is by a brand called Alice, and we've gone for a longer one this time, so it's 24 inches. It's an ash grey, and it has black roots this time, so you kind of have like an ombre two-tone thing going on. Kind of has like a wavy flick to it, and guys, it is lace front this time. But it is blended in really nicely. Like it's not like a like a hard line. It is blended nicely. Ooh, I feel like I have a lot more hope for this one. Ooh. Oh my god! Like already, this is twenty times better than that short one in the last video. <laughs> this is what we got. It's a little bit shiny up here, so I'm gonna have to like mattify that down. But again, like Amazon put so much hair on their wigs, which I am so thankful for. Hmm, I can't decide whether I like it in the middle part or not. Let's flick it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> God, this wig is so damn cute. I feel like though you do have to be kind of cool to pull off like silver gray hair. I don't think I'm cool enough. This is how long it is again, by the way. Like all the long ones are like super, super long today. Guys, I just went ahead and cut off the lace so that you can look at like the root situation. Look at all this hair. I mean, I don't know if I suit this personally, but I think it's so cool if you want to see how you look with this color hair or you just want to play around and experiment. This is definitely a really good wig to get with a bit of TLC. Should be good to go. We have made it to the end of this testing lace front wigs from Amazon video. And honestly, I have to say, I think this was, I think this was another success. I've made two orders. I think I have like 20 wigs from them by this point. <laughs> Whoops. And legit, I would keep buying wigs from Amazon because not only is the quality of them amazing, like the wigs are really, really thick. Some of them need, you know, a little bit of like playing around with, but that's just like normal. They're just a really, really nice quality. They have so much to choose from and they're affordable. For a lace front wig, like 20 to like 40 pounds is such a good price. Like, it's insane. So yeah, guys, if you're looking for like affordable synthetic wigs that still look real and you can kind of like play around and experiment with different colors and styles or whatever without having to make like the commitment to like, doing it to your real hair, then Amazon has your back. We love. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to do all like the YouTuber-y things. Like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more. Um, share it with your friends if you wanna. <laughs> and that is actually everything from me. So thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch this video. I love every single one of you so, so much. And I will see you all very, very soon with a brand new video. And who knows, maybe in an alter ego of myself. <laughs> Bye guys.